Good afternoon everyone. It's uh, Tuesday the 16th of February, uh, two minutes past four. Uh, so the American market has been running, what, about 90 minutes now. As you can see, uh, the Dow's up 65 points and the advances uh, lost ground a little bit, but the advances ahead of the, of the decline. So all of the measures of the trend on Vector Vest are, are up. Uh, and uh, we've got a green light in the price column of the color guard. So all is still good. Uh, and I think I've got my old friend, the S&P, uh, up and running. And, uh, and uh, as you can see, that's the pullback with the GameStop uh, angst. Uh, and uh, this drive up over the last 10 days, couple of weeks. Where are we in this? Well, uh, those people that are Fibonacci analysts uh, can use the Fibonacci retracement tool from that high to that low and extend that and the first level where the market should stop is 1.27 and as you can see that's 1.27 times this and uh, as you can see uh, that's held the market pretty much for four days it broke out of it and if that's the case, if it keeps going, the next target would be 1.618 times this. Uh, and uh, those numbers, whether you believe they're absolute uh, or whether you believe that they're self-fulfilling, uh, tend to work over and over and over again. So the critical level, I wouldn't be at all surprised to see it come back and I, to kiss the 127. That's about 37.20 or 37.15. So... A pullback to 37.15 would be perfectly in sync with the move uh, upwards, uh, but uh, below 39, then we can quite easily pull back here. Market uh, looking a tad uh, overbought in the short term. Uh, and if you listen to this uh, last Friday, you'll know that uh, the uh, markets have been in a mega overbought situation for quite a long time. Uh, nevertheless, all the trends are up and only a fool would short into these, in my humble opinion. Uh, however, uh, my portfolio uh, of uh, short-term trades, uh, I, and I always like to report here the good ones and the bad ones, and I got a smack uh, from Gravity. Gravity, uh, in fact, uh, uh, was well, well named this afternoon. Uh, let's have a look now. Square is banked. Uh, so let's have a look at these because there's some uh, nice uh, uh, examples of uh, targets. This is Square. And I looked at this yesterday afternoon, the Vector S Q and a in a similar fashion to what I looked at a second ago. If we go from that high to that low, uh, and uh, it stopped at the 127 extension of that pullback uh, for one, two, three days, broke it, and it went, uh, in fact, up uh, to the uh, 1.618. Uh, and, uh, in fact, yesterday afternoon when we um, uh, were running the Vector S Q and a one of our subscribers said it's only got $4 to go. The market was closed yesterday. And, uh, Colin, if you're listening, it got there today. Uh, so uh, I managed to uh, bank that one. That was a, a really, really nice trade in uh, Square. Uh, this is Neil. Uh, reasonably happy with it. Uh, and uh, all, it pulled back to kiss that trend line. Uh, I'm hoping that all is good. Who knows? Uh, that's Peloton. Similar situation. Pulled back a little bit in that uh, DraftKings. I'm hopeful that this pullback is over. Uh, and zoom going great guns great uh, I got stopped out at entry on PLTR I thought I would uh, I made a little bit on this uh, run up on half the uh, position and uh, my stop loss was at entry and that got in fact triggered uh, uh, that was late on Friday I think got triggered certainly a bit out of that I'm now watching this for a turnaround because I think that there's a trend line here and uh, uh, any uh, turnaround here, then I would in fact be very, very happy to buy back into that again. Now, there's uh, numbers coming on this after the close today, I believe. Uh, certainly numbers coming out on this. So uh, watch for a, a nice uh, green candle here. There'll be plenty of room to get back into that again. So uh, uh, that Amazon uh, still holding a long position. 
and uh, that's gravity and gravity in fact stopped me out my entry point here was there I got stopped out on this it traded its way down today got stopped out slightly north of 160 so not the end of the world uh, so uh, and that's just the way it is uh, so uh, take a bit of a punch and grin at it uh, smile uh, as they said uh, in my first job cheerfulness in adversity uh, so uh, 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 that's uh, what I've been doing uh, and uh, uh, in the UK market well the UK market had a good day yesterday as you uh, all probably know and uh, we can see lots of green and the color guard everything is up uh, and uh, uh, the portfolio that I've got I, I'm reasonably happy with it uh, I'm uh, I think that I need to I've got too many positions I need to in fact uh, uh, just be strong and raise some cash for some new opportunities uh, Cranswick has done nothing for me uh, and I hear people uh, uh, moaning that if the lockdown goes away that people won't be buying nearly as many of their highly priced sausages. I, I really like the company. Uh, ATYM uh, has been a great little short term trade uh, and um, uh, that we need more of those. I bought into it here at 260 and it goes whole way to 330. That's clearly on the back of the copper price. Uh, Sylvania has had a great day that's on the back of the platinum price and those of you that have been listening to me for any length of time will know that I'm very very bullish on commodities in general Halma had a great day Pershing Square well out of trouble I was worried about that 10 days ago uh, uh, JD Sports uh, looks good Bellway seems to have shrugged off that cladding crisis that uh, uh, infected all of the building stocks last week that was a flash in the pan uh, and uh, uh, Team 17 looks fine to me. Games Workshop, again, uh, somebody uh, moaning in the press this morning uh, that uh, when the lockdown goes away, that's going to affect its sales. Uh, so uh, I'll just have a look at this chart. I haven't added to it again. I've added to it, bought it down here in the last tranche, added to it there, and uh, that trend line uh, very much in place at the moment. You look at this uh, there's a good chance that it's going to come back and kiss that again uh, but I'm holding it uh, for the moment so second uh, tranche of shares that I bought just about in the money and no more uh, and right down at the bottom line trust is out of trouble uh, and CCC we looked at at the um, effective S Q and a yesterday uh, looks reasonably uh, good at a major level but the two companies uh, right at the bottom are the gold companies that I'm holding and gold in fact sold off heavily uh, uh, this morning uh, and we'll have a look at the gold chart in a second Pan African resources hanging in there uh, so I'm reasonably happy with that as long as it stays above that that flag I'm reasonably happy but I wouldn't be so at all surprised to see a leg down there to scare us and that's uh, uh, polymetal uh, reasonably solid above that 78% retracement uh, now I think I've got a gold chart yeah there we are there's the gold chart that's what it's done today folks it went right down here and scared the cats at uh, under uh, 1800 uh, the weekly stochastic is very uh, oversold uh, and uh, I'm confident as, as, as confident as one can be uh, to make a forecast that there is a, a, a low in gold uh, relatively soon so uh, if those uh, two gold shares hang in above those support levels I'll hold them and I think I'll start to become uh, to favor new longs in the gold market above 1855 uh, many of our members are very experienced traders and uh, they feel that uh, HOC uh, which is a silver stock uh, would be a good addition uh, to the portfolio so uh, let's just have a, a look at that if I go to uh, this chart host HOC and uh, that's the chart well up yesterday with the silver price as you can see Vectorvest shows that it's undervalued uh, up well yesterday a relative value which measures the 
share price appreciation potential in relation to a corporate bond exceptionally good mining stock the relative safety poor uh, and uh, growth rate at 24 percent next year looks pretty good uh, if we have a look at the chart uh, we can see that um, that's the chart made some good money on that uh, and uh, it's consolidating sideways here uh, I suppose one could call maybe that a cup and handle pattern uh, but uh, nevertheless uh, that's something to keep our eye on as a silver stock what I did point out yesterday afternoon folks is this uh, resistance which has become support twice that would be one of my famous spring entries or just an old-fashioned double bottom here so uh, the silver price technically looks stronger than the gold price and uh, let's have a look at volume and we can see very interestingly folks that in this nice push up here we had very strong accumulation of this share and that's a really good sign uh, so uh, uh, a break above this high up around the 230 240 level uh, uh, if gold and silver finally uh, put in a bottom that's one uh, to look at on the silver market and as you can see that's what it did in the last run it went up 3x and old-fashioned chartists would say that after a run up plus a, a sideways pattern like this uh, that uh, that should be repeated that's what's called a measured move that would be very nice indeed uh, if you're a technician then you could certainly be justified in drawing a trend line uh, underneath these lows, something like that, and uh, uh, you could uh, justify that to be a falling wedge, which is a very, very high uh, reliability continuation pattern. Uh, and uh, that, uh, as you can see, this broke up in high volume, has come back to kiss this trend line, and uh, that uh, on reasonable volume starting to look like a, a reasonable setup in HOC.L. That's one that I'll be looking at. I haven't bought any of it yet. That's one that I'll be looking uh, at uh, in a little bit of detail over the next uh, few days. So I hope you find this useful. Uh, I try and report all the good trades and all the bad trades. Uh, uh, that's just the way it is. One needs a, a level uh, of resilience uh, to be a, a, a short-term trader. Uh, and uh, as I say, uh, PLTR I've got stopped out of, looking to re-enter. Square I've been stopped out of uh, at a pretty good profit. And uh, Gravity I was stopped out uh, at uh, a loss okay as uh, simple as that uh, simple as that's coming back a little bit now to taunt me a little bit but nevertheless got out of it at a relatively small loss so reasonably happy uh, with my lot uh, overall market even in the short term looking very overbought and when I looked around I couldn't see a great deal of opportunity many of the shares that I looked at uh, were well off their uh, support levels uh, so looking, I'm going to keep my eye on PLTR uh, for a re-entry opportunity, but that won't be today. Uh, I hope you find this useful. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.